Drama Flipper, I mean, the title of this video is Let's Stay on Topic. Well, you made it the topic, okay? and you, you claim that uh, Landon simply came back insulting your character, which is ridiculous. He has, and he dealt with you in a very even handed way, and not merely the tone of voice. You know, he mentioned that you backed off of Mole, and he appreciated that. He, he, he acknowledged your political position, and he did not call you an idiot. He legitimized your differences of opinion and defended his character in a way that you maligned, that you clearly maligned, and you in no way have significantly backed off of that. Now, your position is somewhat untenable, and I will address both the topic and the topic you have invented about his honesty. Now, clearly, you were merely wrong. He has publicized um, who he was, where he comes from, who he works for, far more than the rest of us. Um, you know, I see your objection to where he said that the U.S. is obviously not corrupt, but I watched the video when you made your first video, I mean, I watched the Al Jazeera video when you made your first video, and I've watched it again tonight to, uh, to try to get an idea of, of, what, um, of what you're talking about. And, you know, yes, he, he says that, quote, the U.S. is obviously not corrupt. But now, he has also spoken about corruption. He's also, in that very same statement, talked about how, um, because of the power of the United States, any drop in corruption has a much wider impact. He also said that he didn't really believe that international corporations uh, wanted to take advantage of corruption in other nations. Now, first of all, on the corruption, uh, it's a half an hour program. The context of that is they are talking about governments, for example, where you're pulled over by the police and the way to get out of it is a bribe, where the way to get a government contract is a bribe. Now, you could say that the U.S. is corrupt, you know, because, for example, uh, corporations give uh, donations to, uh, and, and then are served by those candidates once they achieve office. That's a kind of corruption. On the other hand, in the context of this video, we're talking about a different kind of corruption. You know, a quid pro quo. Primarily, it came up a lot. Governments where things are run on bribes and this sort of direct quid pro quo corruption. Okay. Now, you can say that it doesn't matter, it's all corrupt, but then you are, shouldn't even watch a video like this where they're making a list and ranking corruption. Because according to you, every government on earth is corrupt, and there's no reason to make a distinction be between the corruption in, uh, Mas in uh, you know, Macedonia or Myanmar and, the, uh, and Somalia uh, and the corruption in uh, you know, Europe. There, there's simply no ranking. They are all, it's all zero or one, uh, not corrupt, nobody in that group, corrupt everybody in that group. And that's not the purpose of making a ranking like this. Now, in the corruption in the U.S., I think it's pretty clear that Landon said that the U.S. is not corrupt in that sense. He's obviously not saying that there's not incidences of corruption or bribery now, that's a bit strong. I think that um, I have trouble using the word corruption that way, but I still see the context. Now, in terms of corporations enjoying corruption, feeding it, promoting it, preferring to work with corruption, I think the, you know, the, I think that Landon, I disagree with Landon. I think corporations do enjoy that, they do promote it. I also agree with him in the fact that it would be better for their long-term profits to have a stable government where corruption, you know, people that have to be bought don't stay bought. Okay. But sometimes somebody with a lot of money figures, well, that's okay. We can afford to stay ahead of the curve. We can establish some sort of a, some sort of a, a corrupt loyalty where they'd rather come with the devil they know that's buying them bribes than the other devil that they don't know. And unless we're seriously outbid, 
that seems like a kind of stability. I agree with Landon in the view that that isn't really in the best interest, the profitable interest of those companies. But I disagree that international companies and American companies don't think that way, don't prefer how easy it is to go in and pass a bribe, don't prefer that to the long work that it takes to establish honest relationships, honest governments, and to promote that. So, um, so in, in that area, I, I disagree with Landon and would agree more with you. I would also tend to agree that it would be difficult for me to say straight out, the U.S. is obviously not corrupt. But relatively speaking, you know, to a direct quid pro quo, yes, of course we could compare those two things. This is all the political disagreement. What is really reprehensible about your tact is that you have persisted, even after being shown that he disclosed that, okay, even after being um, shown you had the wrong uh, David Cole, uh, even after being shown that you didn't even go check that this, this wrong David Cole that you have, is not some kind of fascist nutcase and he is a contributor to NPR and that there's facts there that would have shown you had a different David Cole. In other words, you were over eager in your conspiracy theory. You back off just enough to still say no, you're still a shill, you're still... Now look, WikiLeaks, who I support, Okay, but it's not perfect, you know, have you read the week, the, 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 you know, you know, people have been leaving WikiLeaks lately, and they're complaining that Assange, some of them, is, is like, a, a too authoritarian, that he's not standing up to the principles of their, of their cooperative, and that he's running it too autocratically, and there's chat logs, where it looks like he has a pretty autocratic attitude, now, I myself, I still support WikiLeaks, to, you know, some degree, I still support Assange, I think he's very brave, you know, nothing is perfect, but, um, you know, I would recommend that you read those, if, because if we're going to read the inside leaks of the rest of the world, there's nothing wrong with, with looking into Assange and WikiLeaks, in other words, there's no reason to glorify as perfect all of these people. Now, if you are consistent in your application, you will notice that, um, you know, the money is funding WikiLeaks from somewhere, you know, so are they shills, should you, should, should, oh, because it's an organization, okay, well then what about you, what if you were to receive a grant from WikiLeaks to help promote their stuff, and you disclose that, but suddenly you're getting paid, as part of your support comes from that, does that suddenly mean that you couldn't make those statements anymore, would that be immoral, And I disagree that people can't be uh, spokesmen because, you know, there's all kinds of people among us. There are all kinds of shills and agent provocateurs among us. And you have to be smart enough to, under, to, to look at the evidence presented and the ideas presented. Now, Landon, of all people, seems to take his approach this way. And he has been open about those associations. Okay, now you've promoted them more widely. I did not know this, but I only became aware of him as a user far after you in the Thunderfoot thing. Okay, but, but it's clear that he has disclosed that. And even without having disclosed that, I don't see how that has invalidated any of his claims or changed any of the facts. He's not presenting an idea that is in conflict with his professional. Uh, you know, he's not being an agent provocateur. Uh, he's not pretending to be someone else. He's coming up with the message that he has. Now, if you find out that somebody has a material interest in that, well, I would be surprised if you don't have a materialist interest in that. If you haven't found that, you know, yourself is somehow affected by the things that you talk about. I particularly find that I have a, a, a various interests, including economic interests, in... Uh, supporting the release of truth about the, the Af Afghan and Iraq war that have been put out in these recent documents that WikiLeaks has released. Because I pay taxes and I support that war. I emotionally don't feel good about that because I do feel responsible. You know, the money is stolen from me. Well, no, actually.